Hi there, welcome back to the channel. If you're like me, a Gen 1 Rivian owner, you've probably heard recently that Rivian has released hands-free driving for Gen 2 vehicles. And like me, you may be wondering, um, are us Gen 1 owners gonna get any love? Unfortunately, the answer is probably not. Good news is though, you can still get an awesome hands-free driving experience with a Common 3X and OpenPilot. In this video, I'm gonna answer some of the most frequently asked questions I've been receiving about how it all works, so let's get right into it. Okay, so what's the first question? Well, the first question is, what even is OpenPilot in comma? <laughs> All right, what even is OpenPilot in comma? So comma, AI, comma, the company, was a company started by George Hotz, who, uh, he, his claim to fame is uh, back in the day, a long time ago, he hacked the uh, original iPhone and the PlayStation 3 and, um, there's a lot of drama about that, but anyways, he started Comma, the company, back in 2015 with the, uh, the intent to solve self-driving through software. And uh, they create the Comma device. Right now, they're on the, late, the latest version of their hardware is the Comma 3X, which we've got right here, um, running an open source uh, program called OpenPilot, which they also developed along with the uh, developer community out there. And it currently works on over 300 cars. So that is OpenPilot and Comma. Comma is the hardware. OpenPilot is the software that runs on it. All right, what is question number two? How easy is it to use? It is very easy. Actually, it's one of my favorite things about uh, Comma and OpenPilot is how easy it is to use. If you have used cruise control on your Rivian, you are already halfway there. Because all you need to do to engage OpenPilot is engage your Rivian's dynamic cruise control, and I'll show you how it works right now. So as long as you're traveling above 20 miles per hour, that, are, that is a restriction on the stock dynamic cruise control on the Rivian. All you do is tap once down on the driver's stock, and the Rivian dynamic cruise control will activate, and OpenPilot on the comma will also activate to take over steering. And as you can see, we are now in hands-free mode on the Rivian with the Rivian controlling speed and the comma with open pilot controlling steering. And if you need to take over? Ah, if I need to take over, that's another cool thing that open pilot uses, which is something called cooperative steering. So while the open pilot, while open pilot can do automatic lane changes, and I'll demonstrate that here, if I wanted to just change lanes manually without signaling, don't do this normally, but I could just take over steering and when I'm done, I can let go and OpenPilot takes over for me. Now in the stock Driver Plus system on the Rivian, if I were to take over steering, it would disengage Driver Plus and then you'd have to re-engage when you're finished. Cooperative steering means you work with OpenPilot to steer. As soon as you're done steering and you want OpenPilot to take over, you just let go. I'll demonstrate a lane change here, automatic lane change through comma. Just turn on the signal. Comma will say steer right to initiate the lane change. You just nudge the steering wheel and it will do the lane change. Voila, lane change complete. What is the next question? How easy is it to install? It is not as easy to install as it is on some other vehicles. As I mentioned before, uh, Common Open Pilot is compatible with over 300 vehicles. Some of them are really easy to install. I wouldn't say it's impossible. It's gonna be a project, but I think anybody could do it themselves. Um, on my 2022 Rivian, it took me about 15, 20 minutes. I also installed one on a 2023 Rivian, which uh, due to some changes down in, wire, down in the wiring harness underneath the passenger footwell, was a little bit more complicated, less space to work with, but um, that install took like maybe 40, 45 minutes. I think anybody could do it in an hour or less. There'll be cursing involved. There's a lot of contortion of your body to get under the, the footwell. It's difficult, but not impossible. Let's just put it, let's, let's, let's say it that way. Is OpenPilot a subscription service? OpenPilot is not a subscription service. It is completely free. There is a subscription component to their Connect website, which is basically, that's where all of your drives are uploaded. You can connect, or you can log into connect.com 
Cloud.ai, and you can see all of your drives, you can see all of the videos, you can download them, you can share them. One of the useful parts of that is all of your data logs too from your drives can be stored there. So if you need to troubleshoot, if you're, there's some uh, problem you're having on your drive, you can upload that route, you can share it with some of the developers along with the logs and say, hey, um, I noticed uh, I was acting weird on this drive. Can you check out my, my route here? And they can look at the logs and uh, find out exactly what happened. So it's super useful in development and tweaking and, and making the open pilot experience that much better. Well, using the Comma 3X void my warranty? No, there is something called the Magnuson Moss Warranty Act. I think it was passed in 1974. Uh, that basically states that a manufacturer cannot deny your warranty claim for any aftermarket part unless they can prove that that aftermarket part caused the issue. Now, the thing about um, the Comma AI is that you're not replacing any stock pieces you're not cutting wires. Um, it basically uses a man-in-the-middle harness, which connects to the autonomy experience module under the dash. So this process is completely reversible. If you wanted to, for example, if you were taking your Rivian into service and you were concerned that it might cause an issue, you could go down there and you could take everything out and it would be completely stock again. They wouldn't even know the comma was ever there. Now, I've taken my Rivian into service before um, after having the comma installed, and I just took it off the windshield, uh, and it did not pose an issue at all. And I actually always recommend you do that. If you're taking your Rivian into service, at the very least, just pop it off the windshield. That way, you know, for any techs that aren't familiar with comma, you're just not risking any, you know, uncomfortable questions. Let's just say that. But in the extreme edge, edge cases, if you wanted to completely remove the comma hardware, you could totally do that. I wouldn't recommend it because it's a pain to get down there. What's the next question? Um, does it stop for red lights and stop signs? It has the technical ability to do that. It does not do that now, at least for the Rivian. There's a, something called experimental mode where um, it will stop for red lights, stop signs. It's not perfect right now. It's, a, it's basically a, a beta part of Open Pilot. Um, but it does have the ability to do that, and we'll, we'll get there again, I think. Um, if you look up on YouTube, a couple years ago, Kama did a completely hands-free navigate on open pilot drive from, I think it was from their offices to a, a Taco Bell several miles away. Um, and it handled everything. It handled all the turns, it handled all the navigation. Uh, it got on the freeway, it drove without any intervention from the driver. So on a technical level, yeah, the Comma 3X can totally do that. But I think Comma right now is focusing on getting the driver model perfect. Uh, so they've, kind of, they've taken away that ability for right now. I would, I would hope probably in the next year or two, we'll have those features re-enabled. Now there are some also technical hurdles that we have to solve on the Rivian specifically to get some of those features. Um, I'm, I've mentioned in the past before the set speed issue we need to figure out. But I, I expect to see some progress on that within the next couple months, hopefully at least by the end of the summer. And uh, when we do, I will be back here on YouTube to update you guys. And how much does it cost? It is relatively inexpensive when you consider like what it costs to purchase like full self-driving or back when you did enhanced autopilot on your Model Y, we paid, what was it? 6,000. So in comparison, very reasonable. The Comma device itself is $999. At this point, this is, what's the date? March 30th, 2025. Uh, it is currently $999 on the Comma AI website. And then on top of that, you'll need to buy the wiring harness specific for your car, uh, which runs about $99. So you're looking all in about $1,100 compared to the $6,000 we paid for your autopilot on your Tesla. And I think the experience is comparable. I mean, Autopilot and Tesla has a, a few more bells and whistles, I'll, I'll be honest. But a lot of what Autopilot does, the Comma AI does, um, and it's it's getting better. The thing about OpenPilot and Comma is that you've got this huge group of dedicated community developers that are working like nonstop on making the OpenPilot experience better, adding new features. 
um, which you honestly can't say about Driver Plus anymore. Rivian's pretty much abandoned it. So I just find that really exciting and I'm looking forward to all the cool things we're going to see in the future. That's all the questions. Okay. Oh, one other thing I want to add is that Comma does have a 30-day, no questions asked, return policy. So anybody who is interested in like what Comma can do with, with OpenPilot on your Gen 1 Rivian, I honestly recommend just trying it out. Order it, spend an hour, install it on your Rivian, try it out for a couple weeks, see what the experience is like. Honestly, I think it's a game changer for Gen 1 Rivians. But if you don't like it, and I know there are a lot of people out there that are like, I want to drive my car myself. I don't need self-drive. And I, I get that. I totally understand that. But give it a shot. Like, you got nothing to lose. Return it within that 30-day window. No questions asked. But I think a lot of you will, will, will honestly enjoy the experience. I've said this before. Comma and Open Pilot breathes new life into Gen 1 Rivian's it's a game changer, I think. So if this video helps you, drop a like, subscribe for more Rivian and tech content. And if you've got any questions about how Comma works with the Rivian, any questions about OpenPilot, post them in the comments below. I'll be answering them and I may be featuring some of them in a future video. Thanks a lot. See you later.